Ghost Rider issue number 18 from Marvel Comics. So this issue is basically Talia's origin story. That's pretty much what the entire issue is. Uh, so like we start off with Talia in bed with Johnny and she's unable to sleep. And this is something that she's always had a problem with since she was young. Like the shadows behind her eyelids are as busy as the ones um, in front of her eyes. That she sees things that others don't. And some of them are harmless. They can't do anything, but others can and then that's when we get like a flashback to her when she was a child. And she sees like a stain on the ceiling. And it turns into the face of a demon. And she screams for her parents. And they come running. And they're like, you know, it's not a demon, honey. It's, it's a bunny rabbit. Bunnies aren't scared. And um, because of that, things just start getting worse for her. Because she can see these things that no one can. People start making fun of her. No one believes her. They all think she's weird or crazy. Uh, the kids poke fun at her even the teacher is kind of a bitch to her uh, we even have a moment where talia pisses herself because there is a demon or some kind of creature inside the girl's bathroom and this is the one that can hurt you like some things can't hurt you this one can and um yeah she gets injured by this creature and everyone thinks that she's just doing this to herself like she's doing it for attention or something and Ever since then, she stops becoming scared, and she just gets pissed off. So when she sees the demon again, the demon morphs into the face of Mephisto, and she kind of snarls back at it. And uh, that's when, I guess, it, Mephisto grants her powers or something. Like, basically, uh, it just says it gave me the answer I wanted, and she has these weird symbols on her forehead, and she draws it and gives it to her teacher, and it causes her teacher to piss herself. And, um... Yeah, uh, we just get more stuff with her, like she falls into the wrong crowd, and her powers start getting more and more crazier and stuff. She's just like, kind of like falling into dark magic. And in the present day, I guess the things that she sees are coming back or something. I don't know, it, it's kind of weird because she starts acting like a little bit more and more weird. Like she's seeing things, but she s explains that she's always seen them before. So I don't know why she's acting more subdued now. Maybe they went away for a little bit, and now they've come back. But, yeah, basically, she's seeing more and more creatures and demons and ghosts of the past. And, and yeah, her past is just kind of catching up with her. And it's, uh, like I said, it's a past that deals with falling into the wrong crowd, getting in trouble with the cops. Uh, it gets to the point where her parents even take her to Doctor Strange, for Doctor Strange to, to try to fix her. And he seems to be in the process of doing something to help when she uses the dark magics to escape and just kind of fall even deeper into uh just bad territory <laughs> and uh yeah i guess i'm gonna stop it there this this is gonna be a short video but i don't know there's not really much i can talk about unless i want to spoil the entire issue which i don't but for anyone who's interested in talia this is her origin story this basically deals with her getting her powers. Well, I don't know how exactly she got her powers. I know how her powers got strained. Her powers became stronger because of Mephisto. But how she got them in the first place, it's not really explained. Basically, as a kid, she's just always been able to see things that others can't. And I don't think it's coming from any of her parents because none of her parents act like they are aware of any of this stuff. Like they all act kind of weirded and freaked out. They think she's a normal girl at first. Then they think that she's trying to get attention. And um, yeah, eventually it gets to the point where they have to go to Doctor Strange for help, like I said. So how she, exactly she got the powers, don't know. But she um, she has powers. Mephisto kind of made them stronger. And she started falling into the dark side. And I guess something happened to pull her out from that. Maybe we're going to find out in the next issue. But there you go. There's Ghost Rider, issue number 18, Talia's uh, origin story. But um, I enjoyed it. It was nice to see like her origin story. I don't know if I would have waited this long to have shown it. I feel like, like I mean, we've already been with Talia for so long. It, is, it does seem kind of weird to just bring it up out of nowhere. Like right when I think the series is like coming close to an end. I think there's only going to be like a couple more issues left and then we're done. So maybe um, we're getting it now because... The final arc is going to deal heavily with Talia. I don't know. 
That's going to be my guess. But, yeah, interesting origin story. Nothing really new. Like, this is not, like, a brand new story. In fact, it reminds me very much of, like, uh, John Constantine. In the sense that, like, you know, he had powers. He fell into a, a crowd that also had powers. They started dabbling more and more into the, the dark arts. And then something terrible happened. And then eventually Constantine decided to try to use his powers for good-ish. And that's kind of what Talia is like. Talia pretty much kind of just reminds me of like a female John Constantine in a sense. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it was fine. There you go. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Take care. Later. So what did you guys think of that video? Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe. Hit that bell for a notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't enjoy the video, thank you for watching it this far. And I hope the next video is more to your liking. Feel free to check out the playlist that you guys see. And I hope to see you guys next time. Later.